today's Tuesday training tip is going to be a little bit of a um, what's in your ring sort of thing. Um, so I have a couple of different things set up, starting with what I just came through, just a, a Cavaletti one stride set on 21 feet. Um, no particular reason for that. I just like to, to have some jumps that look a little bit different to the horses. Um, and this is a kind of big one stride, oxer to oxer, to a short five to a vertical. Um, and then what I'm coming around to now is an angled one stride of skinnies and then a tidy six stride on a turn to a corner. Um, you know, so the sort of the thesis that I'm going to um, have for this Tuesday training tip is to have um, to have jump schools that are not overly specific. So, you know, I've, I've become a little bit more specific than what we were doing in the summertime because we're gearing up for the fall season. So we are practicing more what we would see in competition than what we do with our, our slalom or cavaletti exercises or, you know, four jumps in a circle. So this, this has become more specific to what we would see in competition, but it's not so specific to one phase or the other. So, you know, I wouldn't say this is a show jumping school or a cross country school, you know, it's a little bit of both. So, you know, this five to one, that's something you would be seeing in a, in a show jumping setting, the angled skinnies, um, you know, that's a, that's a cross country exercise, you know, so I think you get more out of your, your jump school that way. And it also keeps your horses thinking, you know, not, not just assuming what they're going to see that day, but, you know, they have to be clever and, um, and, uh, and pay attention to what you're asking. Um, you know, another, you know, so on the, on the flip side of that, you know, if I was going to be doing very specialized, uh, show jumping work, I, I would prefer to do that at a show jumping outing, whether whether you go to an event and do a combined test or whether you find a, uh, a jumping outing. I think you get more out of your, your very, spe very specific show jumping training if you do that at an event or um, at a show jumping show. Um, and then as far as the cross country training is concerned, you know, we have a cross country field and we do use it, but you can, by doing things like this, doing your cross country exercises in the ring, one, you're, you're taking a little bit less out of your horse because you're on prepared footing, um, on flat ground. So you're introducing things to your horse, um, in, in a, in a, probably a more controlled setting, you know, and especially when the horses are learning, you know, if, if they make a mistake, they're going to, they're going to knock the corner down. They're going to, they're going to knock the, the skinnies down. Um, you know, there's, you know, much less punishment for not getting it right while they're learning. So I think it's important to do a lot of your cross country training before you head out to the field. And then when you head out to the cross country field, then you're working on the things you can't do in the ring. You do your, your, um, ditches, your banks and your water and your terrain fences to get them ready for that. But you, you've already got a solid base on them by working them in the ring first.